Welcome to Cheeky Richo's cooking pork pot roast using some Feeney's rubs that we got from the Grill Masters Club in the Tifo Cook for Me. The ingredients are in the recipe box below. It's very, very simple. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to the Cook for Me because this is a very lean piece of pork. We're going to go to the manual function and preheat it a little bit while we just slice our onions and we're going to pop our onions in there. Whilst that's preheating, we're just going to put some of our yummy new rub onto our meat. Lots of lovely flavors there. Rub that all in. The tea for cook for me is actually going to infuse these flavors into the meat and give these resultant gravy a really delicious flavor. So don't be stingy with this. It's not too spicy. It's just got a lovely herby flavor. Rich and hearty. Okay, pop him to one side. Now we get our onions. We're just going to slice them. Put them in the bottom like a bed for our meat to sit on with the rest. Now our onions are starting to sweat off now. We're just going to cut out our carrots that have just been peeled into chunks and set them underneath the meat and they're going to cook in the stock that's produced and we're also going to add some extra stock as well. So in they go. Okay, that's sizzling along nicely now. Let's give it a bit of a move around. A nice little bed. We just pop our meat right down in on top of that now. Pour our stock around the outside. Don't pour it over the top because you'll actually wash that spice rub off. We don't want to do that. Okay. And then we just pop our sweet potato or kumara around the outside edge there. It's actually not in the stock, but it will absorb the flavors from the meat as it's cooking. Okay, lid down. Our pre eating's done now. So we go back and we want to stop browning, yes. And we want to go to quick cooking, yes. We want to do it for about 22 minutes and then we're going to check it. Immediate start and we close and bolt the lid. Okay, our potatoes are going to be cooked with some more of our spice rub to keep that flavor all going in the right direction. Okay, and to further enhance our flavoring, we're going to add some of our Shelly's vinegar and pepper sauce. Just a couple of little dribbles around the outside. Okay, and that's going to add to our gravy. Okay, we're just going to remove our meat now. Beautifully cooked, lovely and tender. Hasn't shrunk at all. All those herbs are still sitting on top there. We're going to strain this and mash those vegetables and retain that stock. Okay, we've got that in the thermo server. We've got a little pat of butter in there. Freshly cracked pepper and that will keep hot for hours while we prepare the rest of our meal. Okay, we've just got our wedges cut up and popped into our actor fryer. We're just going to sprinkle some of our seasoning mix on it. It's already got a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and that'll give it a lovely flavour. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Do come back and visit us again soon. We've got lots more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos. We just served this with our fresh choco. We've showed you in a different recipe, our mashed vegetables and our wedges. Absolutely delicious. Thanks for watching.